An early morning smash and grab in Parma. It was a group effort that took just a few minutes before they got away with the prize in ATM. Good evening. Thanks for being with us. I'm Chris Ty in for Russ Mitchell and I'm Sarah Shookman. Whoever they were, they were brave enough to break in while the store was open. Channel 3's Don Kendrick is live now from the 7-Eleven on Ridge Road in Parma with the story. Hi, Don. Hi, Sarah. This is the story of a 7-Eleven store owner who works seven days a week, works seven days a week to support his family, and the story of four derelicts who drove right through the window that you see boarded up here, right through his window, and then helped themselves to money that isn't theirs. And it was bold and brazen and quick at this busy intersection that's less than a half mile down the street from the Parma Police Station. 4.30 a.m., 4th of July, four sneaky thieves in two vans casing the Parma 7-Eleven at Ridge and West Ridgewood. Guy who was just walking up to get a drink sees what happened next and calls 911. They threw the van up in reverse, bounced over the uh, curbs through the window. Jamie Rosenberry is the store manager. They used the van as a batting ram for the window and left it behind and then jumped in another van with the ATM. Meticulously and quickly orchestrated. They were just in and out within two minutes, so it was obviously organized. You know, they were really good at what they're doing. That's Adam Radonia, the store and gas station owner, who thinks they may have gotten away with a couple thousand bucks in that ATM. But you could have killed someone. Two workers inside, no customers. Thank God no one got hurt. The gaping hole where the ATM once stood and the ditched van left crashed into the store spoke volumes about what was at stake. If someone was walking out of subway at this time, they could have died. Window could be replaced, human can't. Humans like the people who were working here for a living. I work every day. I have five kids at home. I have to support them. Parma police are working too, looking for the tan Dodge Caravan. No confirmation yet if those minivans were stolen. And to the thieves who took just seconds to lift that 200 pound ATM and steal it. Get out and get a job. Exactly. After Adam's unexpected 4.30 a.m. wake up call, he stayed here and handed out free Slurpee certificates to kids at the 4th of July parade here in Parma. And he would like us to tell you that on July 11th, everybody gets a free Slurpee because it will, of course, be 7-11. Except the people who took his ATM machine. No more free things for you. I'm Don Kendrick in Parma, <laughs> Channel 3 News.